Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a Marshalls makeup haul for you today. So um, as usual, let's start with a lip product. So this is actually from Laura Geller. It is the Love Me Do Lip Crayon. So this is in the color Fig Prosecco. So I'm gonna start by applying that so you can see it on my lips because um, I know I love seeing um, how colors look on actual people's lips versus just like a swatch. So let's get started with that. Okay, so that's that. That's the color. I think it looks really great. It's a beautiful color that I think is gonna be so suitable on a lot of skin tones. It is so smooth, almost applied like a lip balm. So nice and light, not as sheer as I thought. I can also swatch it on my hand here for you. So it looks like this. This again is up close, what the color looks like. So this is actually my first time trying Laura Geller lip products. Um, I don't, I haven't really seen Laura Geller in a lot of Canadian retail locations aside from like Marshalls, Winners, those types of stores. So I was super excited to find this. Um, this was in a box and I took it out because I did want to wear it actually before this haul. So I, I can't actually remember the price, but as usual, I'm always going to list the products mentioned and the prices down below. So there's that. So I'm really happy with that one. Then the next item um, is actually the mirror that I used and it's from this brand here called Clara Cosmetics. It is their Brows Brow Studio. So it includes a pomade, a powder, a highlighter, and a brow enhancer. So basically, um, this brand here, I've seen in a lot of like uh, beauty subscription boxes and I believe this is an Australian brand. I paid $9.99 for this and um, I believe it retails for about 35 US, no, US Australian dollars um, if you look on the Clara Cosmetics website. So this is a really good deal. I did actually use this brow product today so you, when I open it you'll see it's a little bit messy already. But it looks like this. You do get um, two powders, two pomades, and two like highlighting type of creams. So there's that. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then also something I wanted to mention. It's not something I picked up just now in my haul, but it is the highlighter that I do have on today. And it's from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And the reason I wanted to mention it in today's haul is because... This is marketed as a blush. I don't know if you can see that. It is the color Koi. I'll swatch that out for you as well. And the whole reason I wanted to mention it, it is so soft and buttery. It's like a beautiful gold highlight, but it's marketed as a blush. And this was so cheap. I wanna say it was like two or three dollars. So I just wanted to let all y'all know because in case you come across this and are you look at it and you're like blush and you bypass it don't stop and get it because it's so cheap and it's so great and I think and I've seen this quite a few times even after I purchased this originally so that's just like an honorable mention moving right along speaking of highlighters I've been so obsessed with highlight highlighter products recently I used to be much more obsessed I have so many highlighter palettes but then recently, maybe it's because like stores were closed and then they reopened and now I'm just obsessed again. So I, I usually walk right on past when I see highlighters um, at um, Marshalls, but when I saw this, I just had to get it. So this here, it's from Max Makeup. So I've seen this brand at um, Marshalls before and it was kind of, like it was fairly cheap. Like this um, little palette, you get three highlighters and a brush. This was $5.99. So that's really inexpensive and affordable. 
And I thought when I, because I got a similar palette like a few years back, and honestly guys, the quality of that first highlight palette I got from this company was amazing. So I was like, when I saw this again, I'm like, okay, let's just try it out. So. I have not opened it at all. It still has its security seal and it was actually double security sealed. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe people, maybe they're having a problem with theft or something. Um, so they double sealed it. So no one has definitely gone in this. Oh my goodness, I might need some scissors. Okay, hold on a second. I have some scissors here somewhere. Ugh, here they are. Okay, got my scissors. So let's go ahead and open that up. Sorry, this is going to take me a second. Okay, that side is open, I think. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's put the scissors over here. Perfect. So here it is. Comes in a tray like this. Let us try out the brush. Actually, no, let's just try out the palette first. I'm so curious. So it looks like this. This actually really reminds me, I bought a palette from Victoria's Secret recently. Similar tones and a similar kind of, and it's really cute because it, it's called the um, Chamoya Highlights Ether Ethereal, Ethereal Illuminating Glow Palette. And it has a little cloud a star and a moon. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. So it's kind of like, actually no, it looks like cheapy packaging, but it's actually quite sturdy. So let me go ahead and swatch that out for you. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of chalky a little bit now that I'm dipping my finger into it. Like that e.l.f. one was a lot butterier. Okay, so let's see. Oh, surprise, surprise. It's looking pretty good to me. I'm excited to try this out along with the brush. I'm not going to take the brush out of the tray because it looks like it's kind of stuck in there. But I'll update you if you want a full review again about any products. Please let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to go back and do that for you. Okay, speaking of palettes. Again, eyeshadow palettes, a long ago I had a love affair with collecting palettes until I got to like, I think like 20 and I thought that was like my limit and I just stopped. So when I saw this, um, this is from Makeup Revolution. So again, like with Laura Geller, um, this brand, I don't think you can see in Canada a lot. I mean, I've only seen it at Marshalls. Um, this is a brand from the UK. So this was $8 for this palette. It's the Reloaded Division. Um, you know what? This one has different names. Um, I saw it online being called Iconic, something like that. So some things, you know, I usually find the Marshalls is about half off of retail, which is still great. With that clear palette, that was amazing. That was like a lot off. These brands from the UK, and I have another thing I wanted to share with you from the UK. Um, they're usually about what the retail price is. So not that the prices are, you know, really high or anything. They're still a good deal, but you're not going to be getting like a half off deal off of the retail. But I think that's fine because some of these brands, I think, are from, especially with the ones from the UK, you can't really find them anywhere else. So if you want to get anything like this, it's still really great. It's $8. This is a dupe for the subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I love Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have so many of her palettes. However, um, subculture was such a disappointment, which is a shame because the colors are great, but the, just the, with the performance was not there. However, this palette here is supposed to be absolutely stunning. So um, I can swatch out a few of the colors that, that I'm not gonna swatch all of them because there's 15 in here. Again, it's been sealed with this security device, so I'm gonna have to use my scissors to pry that open. And then we can try those out. So I'm so curious because like I said, subculture was such a disappointment even though the colors in it themselves were really great. It's just 
they didn't perform so well. Oh. I don't know what they... So I'm, I have another story about the theft at Marshall's, but maybe I'll leave that for a different video because it's kind of a rant. I had a really bad experience the other day, but I'm not going to get into it right now because I want this video to be a positive one. But um, if you've had bad experiences at Marshall's recently, I don't know what's going on. If it was just at my local Marshall's, let me know in the comments below because I... Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I love Marshall so much. So, my bad experience. Yeah, I wasn't planning on sharing this video, but if you want to know more, let me know, and I will, I will let you know. I don't know if it's appropriate for this video. Oh, come on. This palette is not pry open. Oh, is that it? Oh my gosh, it's just stuck on this one little... Oh, I think they put some extra tape on there. Oh, how annoying. They had so many of these. Now I'm wondering if I just picked the wrong one. Do you ever get that when you're at the store and they have so many of one product and you're like trying to pick the best one even though they're all essentially the same? But then sometimes you never know. You get the lemon, right? And I feel like I always end up with the lemon. So sometimes I sit there for like minutes trying to deliberate which which one would be the best one though they're all the same but guys I cannot open this okay I might have to do another video just about this palette because I don't want the, uh, this video to be too long but I did pick this up for eight bucks if you're looking for it I saw tons of them at Marshall's let's just keep this video just moving right along because I feel like I've wasted a lot of time I usually don't like these videos to be too long like I said something else from the UK that I picked up was this it's the Good Things Acai Berry Multitasking Micellar Water. I'm obsessed with micellar waters. Um, if you watched one of my previous videos, I was kind of running short on micellar water. I think it was one of my favorites videos, so I'm so glad to pick this up. It smells so amazing. Oh, guys, this, it smells like, you know, like one of those acai berry smoothies, and it's so nice on the face. It's, it cleanses and soothes, and also has mango and blueberries, so it is like a, um, a smoothie. It, it was $7 Canadian at um, Marshall's, and this is actually its retail price, um, like in the UK, it's about $7 when you convert it. And then the last item um, is from ELF. Oh, I kind of opened the box already. It's from ELF. It's the